Hey guys, I'm Brandi Chang for the Red Carpet Report. We're here in Beverly Hills at the 86th Annual Academy Award nominations presented by Cheryl Boone Isaacs and Chris Hemsworth, who's actually standing right behind me. I gotta say, it's looking pretty good. And we're talking movies and nominations. They just announced all the nominees for the Academy Awards. What do you think, Leonard? Well, a lot of it was what you'd call predictable. I think the best picture nominees were, were the ones everyone expected them to be. What people didn't expect was that the Academy, which some people call, you know, old, mm -hmm. stodgy, you know, out of touch, they really embraced Martin Scorsese's The Wolf of Wall Street, which is as edgy a movie as you can get. Mm -hmm. And uh, and they gave it every major category, you know, uh, that, that it was uh, pretty much that it was qualified for. Mm -hmm. So that's a bit of a surprise. Uh, but no love for uh, Saving Mr. Banks, a more sentimental that? movie. Well, no, I'm disappointed. No love I love Tom that. Hanks in general. I know. I love that movie, and I love Emma Thompson in it, mm -hmm. and Tom Hanks too. Mm -hmm. uh, didn't make the cut. Uh, a lot of critics are crazy about the Coen Brothers movie Inside Lewin Davis. Didn't get director or screenplay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Robert Redford, of course, you know, uh, uh, giving one of the best performances of his life, All Is Lost, did not get recognized. So, you know, there are always some surprises. I guess the least surprising thing, although people don't like to always admit it, is that the Academy never misses an opportunity to nominate Meryl Streep. And after all, she's one of the greatest actresses on the planet, so we shouldn't be shocked. Exactly. But she took the slot that maybe Emma Thompson might have gotten. And I think it's interesting that you noted that Wolf of Wall Street got a lot of attention, whereas Saving Mr. Banks did not. And in, compares, in comparing, I guess, the two movies, there's a lot of history with Mary Poppins mm -hmm. being nominated yeah. several times, and that's an old classic, and that's right. what the movie obviously is based on. And then you are looking at The Wolf of Wall Street, which you said is so edgy. What do you think that's saying about the Academy in general? Because, you know, in the in the recent future, we've kind of seen the show in general kind of move towards a younger demographic. Do you think that the nominees are now reflecting that as well? No, I, I think that you can't characterize the Academy. I think that's what it's saying. Mm -hmm. On the one hand, Philomena, which I like very much, is a film the Academy obviously likes very much. M you know, m many key nominations for that. That's not a critic's darling, right. but it's an Academy favorite. Right. Uh, uh, but, you know, every time you think you can label them or, or, or stamp them with, with uh, as, as if they're one monolithic group, mm -hmm. They're diverse. Mm -hmm. All sorts of people in the Academy, so all sorts of opinions. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you never know. Until, until they make that announcement, you never know what's going to turn up on that list. I was going to say, films in general are very subjective, and, mm -hmm. and entertainment is very subjective. Mm -hmm. Do you think the Academy does a good job choosing and selecting which films really represent great quality features? Y yes, I do. Now, it doesn't always reflect my taste, mm -hmm. and it doesn't always reflect popular taste or even critics' opinions, but it's the Academy. Mm -hmm. And I think they have history and continuity on their side. What is your favorite historical moment looking back in the past even few years? Oh, I, I can't pick one. Can't pick one. I just can't pick one. Too, too, too many to name. But we'll have an interesting race this year. Definitely. What do you look for when you look for quality in a movie? Originality. Originality? Yeah. In which, in which sense? Uh, uh, like something, something surprising, something different, something that... Uh, I haven't seen a dozen times before. Mm -hmm. And I think these films uh, have that quality. We need you, to do, you, do you take any predictions? No, I'm not in the prediction game. You're not in the prediction no, game, so it'll no. be a close race, do you think? Yeah. Yeah. I, and it may be that it, it, it may be that the, the not, sorry. It may be that the awards get spread out. Okay. I think that it, it could be that kind of a year instead of one front runner. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm looking forward to award show season in general I think yeah. it's gonna be fascinating and yeah. obviously I love the Oscars because it kind of ties everything yeah. together and it's yeah. just like that cherry on yeah. top so yeah. thank you so much Leonard I you're appreciate welcome. it you're welcome all right I personally think it's gonna be the year of Leo but we're gonna find out on March 2nd when the Oscars go live and you can go ahead and leave me a comment below and tell me what your predictions are and if you like this video hit like for more videos subscribe we'll catch you later bye guys